Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here. Today we're talking about how The Division 2 is about to get a big assist. That's right, we have a positive news story to cover regarding The Division 2's Year 3 content development. And personally, this makes me really excited. And it solidifies my belief that if it's the intention, then Massive and Yubi Bucharest's team can absolutely deliver this new update for the game in December like they've been teasing throughout the year. And so yeah, let's just get right into it. I saw this new info on Twitter. Be sure to go follow me at Rogue underscore Gold. Link in the description for real-time updates. But anyway, that news is that Massive is finally moving back to in-person work on a major scale, and this is pretty big. We know they've been back at their offices now for some capacity for a little while, as far back as when even uh, TU11 was happening. I remember we'd sometimes see state-of-the-game guests like Bruce or Nikki back in their actual uh, massive offices, but if I'm recalling correctly, they would always bring it up and note how they were only allowing very small numbers of employees in the building at, at, at all times. Uh, but now we have word from different developers at Massive themselves that the employees are returning to in-person work on a massive, no pun intended, scale. And not only that, but if you didn't know, Massive is now in a new building. From the one you may have seen uh, photographed over the years where Division 1 and 2 were developed. That one is no longer their, their uh, main home. Uh, Eden, I believe, is the new building's name. It's actually two separate buildings across the street from one another, and again, if I'm recalling correctly, because they talked about this a while ago, one of them is entirely for the, the Avatar team, and the other is majoritarily Star Wars, I would imagine, but I'm sure that's also where the Division team and the other unannounced project teams are held as well. And whereas Massive only had... Uh, six to 700 employees back when they began this move, I want to say. Uh, it was reported that Eden was designed to build and let flourish a team of over a thousand developers across their various projects. Which is super awesome to see Massive expanding like this. Well deserved, and I hope it only means more support for our favorite titles as time goes on. But anyway, let's get into the specific quotes I grabbed about this return to the offices. The first one here is from Lionel, who is a uh, senior producer over at Massive. I don't know if he specifically works on The Division 2, uh, but you can see back here on October 1st, he's said, so funny to see so many people today at UB Massive packing their desks in preparation of Monday. We're moving to our studio again. So you've got him stating his excitement there for the transition. And then Pale Hofstein, uh, who I'm sure some of you are probably familiar with, he's a producer at Massive, but I know he specifically works on the art side of things, and he does uh, indeed work on the Division 2. He said the other day on the 8th that the studio was full of people today. My team and I in the same room for the first time in almost two years, met people I hired in for the first time in person, fun day. And then he followed that with, the pub across the street from the studio is pretty much three floors of massive people right now. I can't even begin to describe the atmosphere. And so this is just really awesome to see. I do want to talk about uh, what this news could mean for the development of the Division 2's new content, but I also wanted to quickly show you some screen grabs from a video that Palais posted of a pretty neat addition to the Division workspace at their new Eden studio. You can see here, it says uh, the Division timeline, and he kind of, in the video, he walks down the full wall, uh, which is filled with the various big events from the Division 1 and 2. So that's super cool. It is a bit blurry. You can't quite read all the fine details, but once again, if you want to check out that full video, you can go um, and see it on my Twitter. I retweeted that post of his specifically. All right, so Massive is now back in their studio doing their thing at what seems like a mostly fully operational capacity, and that's super awesome to hear. The big question then is, what does this mean for The Division 2's development moving forward? Well, I think that if this new content is planned to be coming in December, which again has not been confirmed, but this has been my personal speculation and belief for a good while, and if that is the case, then this can do nothing but help them reach their goals and deadlines. It's impossible for us to know the true extent of how drastic doing video game development from home is, uh, you know, versus is at an actual office with the people you're trying to collaborate with, but you don't really have to know that ex that specific experience if you're currently or have ever worked in a collaborative role. Then I'd say it's pretty easy to know how crucial the actual collaboration portion of that is. And with the high-end equipment I'm sure their studio is rigged up with, Massive being back in person can only mean good things and more productive work hours. Now we know that the bulk of the development power for this year three content is coming from UB Bucharest, with a smaller subset of devs leading the charge at Massive, and so while I have no clue what the status of Bucharest's work conditions are having the leaders of this development be able to be in a room together, putting their heads together and sharing their work and ideas and all of that is just going to mean things are running that much more efficiently. Take Battlefield 2042 for example. If you follow that game at all then you'll know it, rec it uh, recently received a delay and one of the reasons they cited for that delay was that they had anticipated the final leg of development being able to take place back in their offices, back in person and that hadn't turned out to be the case. They weren't allowed to go back to, uh, to work in their offices and so they needed that extra month of at-home development time to make up for the work they were thinking they could get done in person in a shorter window. 
And so I have to imagine that the same goes for Massive and the Division 2 team. Again, because of the messaging we've received throughout the year, it seems like they grew more and more confident with the December release as the months went by after the official announcement. And so if they were thinking they could reach that goal from home, I can only imagine that these, you know, having these last two months of development actually be in an in-person capacity, at least for the leaders of this collaboration and this project, I can only imagine that's going to lead to great things. I mean, by now, if they're aiming for December, then I'd have to imagine they're they're nearing the, the metaphorical final leg of production probably close to finalizing the content portion of the update and are shifting over to testing, bug fixing, polishing, marketing prep, all that stuff. And if this final leg is now being able to be carried out in person, then that just makes me even more confident that they're going to be able to hit that December mark. Now, again, that's if they intend on releasing in December in the first place. Like I said, there's there's plenty of evidence from what I can see that suggests that's going to be the case, but it has not been confirmed. And it's entirely possible that the content could be delayed into 2022. I don't think that'll be the case, but even if it is, oh well, regardless of when the content is coming, the news that Massive has moved back into an in-person environment is just great news all around. It's going to lead to better work, more effective collaborations, and just more efficient usages of time overall. And hey, you never know what kind of facilities this new Eden building may contain. Who's to say we won't see Yannick and his beard pop up on the newly instated State of the Game in November, where they can finally dish out the details on year three. Regardless of what's to come from this, I'm just excited to see Massive return to having the maximum amount of tools at their disposal to be able to do what they do best, and that's deliver us content for our favorite franchise of the division. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can be updated every time I upload. Let me know your thoughts about some of these developments. Are you happy to hear about Massive's return to in-person work? And do you think that's going to bring about a serious motivation boost for this final leg of Division 2's new content development? I certainly think it will. The devs seem to be in good spirits about it. And as always, I'm very curious to hear what you will have to say on the matter. But that is going to do it for me for this one, guys. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And until the next one, guys, Rogue Gold. Out.